Captain. We don't even know where we're going. We don't need to know. Uh, these guys from intelligence always got to make everything a big secret. They're Americans. Yeah, and this is American territory. What are you shooting at? What are you doing out here? Who are you with? One of the G.I., sir. Larson? It's okay, come on. Lieutenant Hamlet. Yeah, I know you. You're from Company L. All right, let's have it. What are you doing out here? We were chasing a crowd captain. He might be an important prisoner, sir. He speaks perfect English. Real Superman type. My jeep skidded off the road and he got away. All right, where is your jeep? It's about 50 yards down the road, sir. Well, at least we don't have to walk back. Our cage, little John Listen. Kirby. Go help him with the jeep. Bad your mission was washed out, Captain. Just me, Lieutenant, not the mission. You're working for G2 now. Jason. And Vic Morrow. right here. The Germans set up a planning headquarters in it about 36 hours ago. They're using it in the daytime only. Their nighttime security is minimal. How minimal? To his regards. You gotta get in there and out without anybody knowing you were there. The Germans find out you were there and just change their plans and the photos you'll be taking will be useless. These uh, three experts we're supposed to meet at the mill, uh, you know the whole setup? In G2, you only tell your men what they need to know each step of the way. If anybody gets captured, you get more security. Now, there's a wing out in the back of the chateau. The map room's in there, up on the second level. Sergeant Walker will get you inside. He's the locksmith. Sergeant Morgan is the cartographer. He'll select the most valuable maps to show the Kraut division placements. Lieutenant Tracy will be doing the actual photography. He's a good man. The best with infrared equipment I have ever met. What about the other two? I never worked with them, but I told them to give me the best men available. Any other questions? Yeah, one. Why don't we just go back and get another G2 officer to head up this mission? No time. The Krauts move these planning headquarters all around. We know where this one is today. Tomorrow, we won't be sure. Jeep's on the road, sir. Hey, 
Where are we going, Lieutenant? Call the light. We're on a rendezvous with three men. Right here is Mill. Who are they? There's a Lieutenant Tracy. He's a photographer. There's a Sergeant Walker. He's a uh, expert lock picker. And a Sergeant Morgan. He's a cartographer. Oh, that's a map maker. I know it. Huh. A lock picker, a map maker, a photographer. What kind of mission is this anyway, Lieutenant? This is G2. Not even the men we're picking up know anything about it yet. All right, now after we pick up our specialists, we're going into crowd territory, through this minefield. Now there's a gap through it right there. All right, let's go. Oh, sign and counter sign. Hot dogs and beans. Got it? Hot dogs and beans. to be recognized. Halt! Hot dogs. Beans. Advance. Uh, Lieutenant Tracy. Lieutenant Hanley. Captain Roberts had an accident. He won't be here. Let's go inside. Cage, you and Kirby, take a look around. Little John, check the perimeter of the minefield, see if you can find the gap. Are you Morgan? Yes, sir. I'm Walker, sir. You'd better fill us in, Lieutenant. I wasn't told anything except take my equipment and meet Captain Roberts here. Same here. Captain's instructions were briefly when we reach our objective. We head straight north through here. There's a minefield just before we reach crowd territory. Here's the map and the gap through it. Memorize it in case we get separated. When you've got it down, I'm going to destroy the overlay. In the meantime, I'll check with my men. No, sir. Not on this side. Lieutenant! must have come along at the right time. Maybe. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Hey, Lieutenant. Hey, this is no grout. He's an American. American? Sure, I know him. Yeah, this is the guy. He's a GI. He's a sergeant. What are you talking about, Kirby? Look, you remember when I was in the hospital a couple of weeks after D-Day? This guy came in the morning and I left. Now, hey, they call him Red. Look here, look at his hair. Well, they're redheaded crowds, too, you know. Lieutenant, I know it's the guy. Now, I helped the medics put him in bed. And he had a scar, he had a bayonet wound right on his arm and went clean through his sides and stripes. I know it's him.
Moffat was he with? I, I don't know. I don't remember that. But what would your redheaded sergeant be doing way out here? Unless... Unless... He was one of the specialists assigned to this mission. What are you saying? One of those two sergeants in there is... Lieutenant, that's a real nervous idea you're talking about. What other reason would that be to switch uniforms? Well, that crowd must have heard when you briefed us back there. Yeah, you could have heard everything. The sign, the countersign, right over here at the mill, the minefield. Sure. All I had to do was hightail it out here, kill Red and switch places. The only thing he wouldn't try on his own would be to cross that minefield. He's probably in there right now, laughing up his sleeve, just waiting for us to show him the way home. Job's got to be done tonight. Look, we'll keep this. Keep this among ourselves. Kirby, you stay out here. Tip off little John when he gets back. Gage, you come back inside with me. I'll do the talking. You keep your rifle handy. checking the perimeter of the minefield. You memorize this map? Yeah. Yes, sir. Atanabana, strike order. You practicing up on your crowd talk, Lieutenant? Why not? Well, your accent's pretty bad, sir. I didn't know you spoke German, Morgan. Speak it like a native. Captain Roberts didn't tell me about any of you speaking German. Well, I'm a cartographer, sir. Sometimes I have to read the legends on German maps. Nice lighter. It's a Panzer Crest, isn't it? Yes, sir. Solid gold. Where'd you get it? Guy wanted from took it off a dead crowd. Does it really matter where he got it, Lieutenant? No, I guess not. Isn't it about time we took off, Lieutenant? Oh, I told you, we have to wait for my men to check the perimeter. Hey, what outfit you with, Walker? 201st Ordnance, sir. Hmm. Who's your CO? Captain Wheeler, why? Oh, I know a few platoon leaders there. Lieutenant Corday and Lieutenant Gundelson. You know them? No, sir, never heard of them. I told you to pick locks. I worked for a safe company back in the States. Why all these questions, sir? I don't know. What is the reason, Lieutenant? Oh, just playing in a safe. Let me see your dog tags. Come on, give them to me. Which blood type? Hey. Uh... Oh, come on, what is it? What's on the tags? I'm not sure. Well, you... I forget, I don't know. I bet a lot of guys don't know. Well, Lieutenant, uh, every soldier's supposed to know his blood type, isn't he? Every soldier should. Mine's A.B. Mine's A. So is mine. Look, I've never been wounded. I've never even been in a hospital. I just don't remember. Now, that's reasonable, isn't it? I guess so. Oh. You 
you really are playing it safe, Lieutenant. Maybe I am. Captain Roberts told me not to take any chances. I guess I'm overdoing it a little. Hey, Lieutenant! That crockhead, those soldiers were chasing. I found him outside. He's dead. What crowd, Captain? Did you see Kirby? Isn't Kirby outside? No, sir, he's not there. Lieutenant Hanley. Now, what's this about a dead crowd, Captain? He's an escape prisoner. Headed this way. You stay here, I'll find Kirby. Wait, just a minute. You knew that body was out there. I know. Well, how come you didn't say anything? Because the body out there is not a crowd. He's an American sergeant. One of my men made a positive identification. Whoever killed him, put him in a crowd uniform. So that's why all the questions. You think one of us is that crowd captain, huh, Lieutenant? It's a possibility. But I didn't want to say anything. I thought I could find out for myself. Well, we'll all be moving out now, so you had a right to know, to protect yourselves. Don't look at me, I know Kraut. No, you're just a poor innocent guy that can't even remember his blood type. What about you? How come you speak German so good? Well, lots of Americans speak German. Now look, Lieutenant, if I, if I were really a crowd, especially a crowd officer, you don't think that I'd admit that I speak German? I mean, how stupid can you get? An extra smart crowd might admit he spoke German to throw suspicion off himself. Okay, go on. Come here, here we go. Who's this? I heard something over by the minefield, went to check it out and found this guy. Said he just escaped from the cross. Came through that minefield all by himself. That's right. I did. What's your name and outfit? Right, Henderson, 349th, engineers. Like I've been trying to tell this joker, sir. Looking for mines in my job. I saw this field, probed my way across it. I couldn't tell which way he came from, Lieutenant. Wind blew his tracks away. He could have been going either direction. I... I don't know what's with you guys. Well, Krauts in American uniforms have a lot of tricks for infiltrating our lines. You, you mind if I take a load off my feet? I'm Bush. Star. What do I think, Henley? I think we go back to Captain Roberts and let him get a positive identification of those two sergeants. Cap, there's a time element. This mission's got to be accomplished tonight. Lieutenant, take a look at Private Henderson's sleeve. ourselves a third sergeant. I'm telling you, I am me, Tom Henderson, G.I. Dogface. I was a sergeant. I got busted. What's the matter, Lieutenant? You never heard of a guy getting busted in this man's army? Why all the sweat? Because there's a dead American sergeant lying outside in a crowd captain's uniform. That means there's a crowd captain running around somewhere in a sergeant's uniform. What happened to the three stripes? There was a brawl in a bistro night before last. My CO heard about it yesterday morning, so now I'm a buck private again. I tell you, sir, that's the truth.
Anybody got a drink? When I come in from a job, I grab a bottle. It's a spooky kind of job, sir, rolling for mines. If you last for six months, you're lucky. Well, I beat the percentage. I've been at it for over a year. But every time I go out into the field, I know that's going to be my last time. So, yeah, I hit the bottle. When were you taken prisoner, Henderson? Last night. Where? Uh, near Diane. They took me in. Five other guys behind the lines. I got away about five hours ago. I've been walking ever since. Drunk, busted, captured, escaped all in 36 hours? You don't believe this fairy tale, do you, Lieutenant? It's no fairy tale. And why are you so anxious to pin it on me? Because I think you're the lousy crud. All right, knock it off and sit down. I said sit down. I think it'll all be on the level. Maybe that guard captain just lit out. Cross our minefield on his own? Maybe. Maybe he's still hanging around somewhere. Anderson, we can't afford to leave you here. So you're going to go with us. Now, the rest of you, if you are engaged by the enemy, you shoot only to protect yourselves, because I want quiet. Now, saddle them. Dawn. You said you were with the 201st. Right, I am. Yeah, well, this is a 316th. Oh, What's the matter with you? Knock it off. Off. I said knock it off. What's the matter? You never heard of moonlight requisitioning? Lieutenant, I lost my bag, so I glommed onto this. What's the matter with you? A minute ago, you were blaming it on Henderson. Now you're back onto me. You know, personally, I'm betting it's you. All right, let's move out of here. Cage, take the point. Hey, buddy. Bring up the rear. Good. What do you think, Lieutenant? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. The way they tell it, it could go either way. A foul up mission. This is the end of the minefield. Which way now, Lieutenant? Due east. If we head in that direction, we'll run right into a German outpost. But I can show you where to get past them. I don't want to get captured again. All right, Henderson. You take the point with me. right in the crowd's laps. Well, for that matter, so could any of them. Yeah. All right. We'll all stick together. I don't want anybody getting uh, lost.
Sanders and let us through the crowds. At least we know he's on the level. Maybe he's decided to stick with us until he finds out what the mission is. This way. officer didn't get away. That's for sure. Whoever set the fire, Anderson must have seen him. Well, it wasn't me. Well, don't look at me, Lieutenant. All right, that's enough. We can move me up now. I want to say something. Whichever of you two it is, my man and I are going to be watching you every second. Whoever the phony is, he makes one move to tip off the Krauts. He's had it. All right, Lieutenant, you and I are going to take the point. Cage, Kirby, bring up the rear. Now let's move out.
top of the stairs. Walker. Yes, sir. Your job is to open that door and any locks inside. So that's our mission, Hanley. I'm to photograph their maps. Warren, I'll pick out the right ones. We want the location and disposition of all enemy units shown. Any questions? What about sentries? There are two. One in front. One circles the building every two and a half minutes.
I do for openers. How do we know he's picking the right maps? You just have to take my word for it, Lieutenant. Unless somebody else around here can speak German. Let's not take all night. Come on. Get these notations on the border. They're important. Are you glad to be back on American real estate, Captain? Don't forget, Lieutenant. A prisoner of war has the protection of the Geneva Convention. Oh, you'll get it, Captain. You were caught in an American uniform. According to the Convention, that's a spy charge. Maybe we can pick up a ride on the road, huh, Lieutenant? I don't think so, little John. How would we know who we were riding with? Let's go. 